justice is the foundation of hope, and we must ensure that every person, particularly our young people, have hope in the future. That is why we must have achieve economic justice with boldness of vision. America is firmly committed to economic progress in Ghana, a commitment enshrined and advanced over the course of many years through the Millennium Challenge Partnership and in the African Growth and Opportunities Act. Together, our governments must continue to support smart developmental strategies that spur sustainable economic growth and lift up all families in Ghana and throughout Africa. Ghana is already a leader in intra-African trade, but we must do more working together to diversify eco economics and encourage trade through the continent so that we can create the regional security and stability necessary to achieve prosperity across Africa. We must create educational and economic opportunities that allow every student and worker to climb the ladders of opportunity, and we must focus on women and girls. The chair of the Women's Caucus, Chair Saho, she told me earlier of some of the ambitions, and in America we say, when women succeed, America succeeds, and I'm sure that holds in Ghana. When women succeed, Ghana succeeds. We must achieve justice in health care. In fact, understanding, as Dr. King said, as Mr. Clyburn often quotes, he heard him say it, of all the forms of inequality, injustice of health care is the most shocking, the most inhuman, because it often leads to physical death, Dr. King. We must work together not only to prevent and combat de devastating public health causes of the day, uh, but to form a more equal and fair future where every person has access to basic health care. We must strive for the eradication of disease. We cannot accept a world in which where one is born determines whether we have access to the quality, affordable care and services people need to lead their healthy, fulfilling lives. Health care for us is a right for everyone, not a privilege for the few.